Hello and welcome to SG Speechless. Today's video has been never skin combo video and today's game will be Aura. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin combo video. Today's going to be Aura. And this video was suggested by three of my viewers, which was Neymar on TT, Gage and Aditya. Thank you very much to all of you for the video suggestion. Neymar said, can you do Aura? Gage said, can you do Aura, please? Nice video. And Aditya said, can you do Aura? Of course I can. I eventually got around to buying the Aura skin. The Aura can be bought in the item shop for 800 V-Bucks or with the Reverse 2K's Lock Bundle for 1,400, or also with the Gilded Explorer's Bundle for 1,600 V-Bucks. You've got a few different options to buy the Aura skin. It was originally released in Chapter 1 for Season 8. As three of styles, which is default, Winter Hunter, and Charming Aura. I've made four combos for default, three for Winter, and then three for Charming. Let's get into the first combos, Backling which is a gold token, part of the John Wick set, in in Chapter 1, Season 9. This backbend could be unlocked or obtained from doing challenges in John Wick Bounty LTM in Chapter 1, Season 9. Pickaxe is a Harley hitter, which is a DC series pickaxe, part of the Gotham City set, in in Chapter 2, Season 1, as Harley Quinn's pickaxe. It was absolutely perfectly with this skin and also this combo. The glider for the first four combos is classified, which is a victory route umbrella from Chapter 2, Season 2, mainly using it for the gold design. Contra for the first uh, first six, seven combos is the Spectral Essence, which is part of the Western Wild set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 6. And this is Calamity's Contra from that season. Using it for the white, you can use any other Contra that's white, gold, or black themed. It would work nicely. Let's move on to the first breath map now, which is this one right here, which is a fully blacked out one, which is Boogeyman, part of the John Wick set as well in Houston Chapter 1, Season 9. You've got this from the same game mode as you've got the back bling. You basically just have to get challenges done once again. If you don't have this weapon, you can use Stealth Black, Tide Abyss. If you use Tide Abyss, make sure to change battle code to black to make it fully blacked out. You can also use the Assassin. I know it has a little bit of silver, but the black does also work nicely. Let's move on to combo number two now for the Aura skin. For this one, I thought I'd use Wolf Pack, part of the Full Moon set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 6's Back Pass, as Dyer's back from that season. Here's the Tier 100 skin, using off the black and gold design. Pickaxe is the Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Part of the Batman 0 point set in Houston Chapter 2 Season 6. It's DC Series Pickaxe that ends Catwoman 0's Pickaxe. Men using it for the blacked out design. Let's move on to the second weapon wrap, which is a black and gold themed one, which is Midas Memory. Part of the Golden Ghost set in Houston Chapter 2 Season 2's Battle Pass. And it's Midas' weapon wrap from that season. Let's move on to combo number 3 now for the Aura skin. For this one, I thought I'd use a set of wings. The one I'm using is Shattered Wings, which is a Shadow series back bling, part of the Monarch set in Houston Chapter 3, Season 1. This was from the first ever level up quest pack, which was a Monarch level up quest pack. And this one's pretty cool. So it has two edit styles, which is Shattered Wings, which is white, and the one I'm using, which is golden. You can use any of the, you can either use white or golden, but I've decided to go for the golden myself. Or you can use any other set of wings that are white themed or gold themed. Would work nicely as an alternative to these set of wings. Pickaxe is the gold crow, part of the double agent set in Houston Chapter 2, Season 3, using up the black and gold design. Let's move on to the third weapon wrap now, which is gold and black, part of the undercover summer set in Houston Chapter 2, Season 7. This can be bought in the arm shop. It's pretty cool because it's reactive. It starts off fully black, and throughout the game, it's more golden, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to combo number four and the final combo for the first style. I thought I'd use an FNCS back bling. The one I'm using is a competitive crest, part of the FNCS set in Houston Chapter 4, Season 4. Men using it for the yellow. Pickaxe is driver, part of the teed off set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 8. This could be bought in the item shop using it for the black and the silver design. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now for this combo, which is this one right here, which is Shadow Angler Shift in Houston Chapter 2, Season 1. A Shadow Series weapon wrap using it for the white and black design. Let's move on to combo number 5 now for the Aura skin. Which is the first combo for the second style, which is the Winter Hunter, as you see right here. The back thing for this combo is the Red Shield, part of the Fortnite set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 3, and is, and is the Red Knight's back thing. Works perfectly for the red, the black, and also the white design. Pickaxe is Widow's Bite, which is a Marvel series pickaxe, part of the Avengers set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 8, and is the OG Black Widow's pickaxe, used up for the black and red design. The umbrella for the next three combos is the Paper Parasol, which is a victory royale umbrella from Chapter 1, Season 3. So if you don't have this one, use any other glider or umbrella that's, re that's red, white, or black themed. would work nicely. Contra, once again, a special essence for the next three. Let's move on to the wrap now for this combo. 
which is blasted part of the short fuse set in Houston Chapter 2 Season 2's Battle Pass and is TNT and his ref ramp from that season. I'm using this for the red and black design. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 6. For this one, I thought I'd use a holographic back bling, a red themed one. I'm using Cactus Jack, which is an icon series back bling, part of the Travis Scott set in Houston Chapter 2 Season 2 as Travis Scott's back bling. If you don't have this one, you can use any other red holographic back blings you own. For example, Mark of the Slayer. You could use any of the Star Wars ones, any of the, Mar any of the Marvel ones. You could even use a few other ones like Piccolo's Demon Symbol, for example. Anything red holographic wise would work perfectly. Pickaxe is the Scuddy Scepter. In Houston Chapter 3, Season 4, this pickaxe works nicely for the white. Let's move on to Red Wrap now for this combo. And for this one, I'm using Red Line, which is part or doesn't have a set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 9. Nice animated Red Wrap, has white, has red, also has black as well. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 7. And the final combo for this second style. I decided to use a Gaming Legend Series one, which is Crewmate, part of the Among Us set in Houston Chapter 3. Season 3, I'm using the red, but you can also use the black, but you can use the white. I guess you could also get away with using the yellow as well, but I decided to stick with the red myself. Pickaxe is a candy axe, part of the Frosty Fight set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 1, using it for the white and red designs. Reactive as well, basically the Christmas lights sparkle, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to the up now for this combo, which is this one right here, which is Marvel Series, which is Rat Pool. Part of the Deadpool and Wolverine set in Houston Chapter 5, Season 3, as Deadpool, Pen and Ink's Wrap, you're using it for the red, black, and white design. You can also use Merc from the Chapter 2, Season 2 Battle Pass if you prefer to use that one. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 8. And for this one, we're now on to the third style, which is this one right here, which is Charming Aura. Back thing for this combo is the Power Pack, which is Icon Series, part of the Power Set in Houston Chapter 2, Season 4, as Lockland's Back Bling, using this for the yellow design. Pickaxe to Reaper in Houston Chapter 1, Season 1. Pretty OG pickaxe. Works very nicely with this combo. The umbrella for the last three combos is the Palm Leaf, which is a Victory Royale umbrella from Chapter 1, Season 8. Men use this for the green design, but you can use any other glider or umbrella that's green or golden themed would work nicely. Obviously, if you don't have this Victory Royale, for example, glider. The Contrail is Clovers, part of the green clover set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 8. Using it for the green design. Once again, if you don't have this, you can use anything green or yellow or golden theme. Would work nicely. This one here would work pretty nicely. Digital Dogfight, which was introduced last season. I'm pretty sure this is from the reboot game mode or the actual ever challenges. Summer challenges, one of the two. So if you did get both the challenges done for those, you'd obviously have that contrail. Let's move on to wrap up now for this combo, which is green themed, which is bubbly. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. This could be bought in the item shop. It has a nice light green and dark green design. Let's move on to combo number 9 now for the Aura Skin. For this one, I thought I'd use a Rainbow Clover, part of the Green Clover set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 8, using it for the green design. Now, it's not exactly green, but it does go nicely either way. Pickaxe is a Spirit Glitcher, part of the Eternal Eye set in Houston Chapter 5, Season 2. It's a Spirit Hunter Seiko's pickaxe, just a crew pack skin. So if you have the Spirit Hunter Seiko skin, you'll have this pickaxe. And I'm using a Styx Hackers Legacy, which makes the second month. You have to subscribe, obviously, continuous months. If you subscribe for two months after the skin counts, that extra month. You'd have the style. You can also use the, Aur the Auric Legacy if you want the gold one. Obviously, you have to subscribe two months after obviously the skin came out. So, in total, we have obviously three extra ones, obviously, three extra months. But I'm using the one for an, an, an additional month after obviously getting that skin. Works nicely for the green design. Let's move on to Weather Up now for this combo, which is Festive Paper. Introduced in Chapter 1 to Season 7. Using this for the green and white design. Basically, a Christmas Weather Up, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to the final combo for the Aura skin. And for this one, I thought I'd use the Solid Skull, which is part of the Most Wanted set in Houston Chapter 4, Season 1. You get this back when the Most Wanted event, of like the actual challenges were around for like a month or so. And this back is pretty cool because you get a different stage. It's the stage I'm using is Eliminator's Crown, which you needed to get 100 eliminations and a victory route in the time the actual game mode or challenges were active. If you've done it, you'd have this. If you don't have this, you can use the Mystique Skull instead from the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass. That worked nicely as well. Or is it anything gold themed in general? Pickaxe is a flawless part of the 24k set in Chapter 1 Season 8 Battle Pass. This is Lux's pickaxe from that season. Main use up for the gold design. Let's move on to the final weapon up now for the Aura Combos. And for this one, I thought I'd use Greed, 
which is part of the Midas Revenge set introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2, and it's all rose weapon wrap. Main unit, which is mainly fully golden. That's all the aura skin combos done. Thank you once again to Neymar on TT, Gage, and Ajita for the video suggestion. I really do, suggest I really do appreciate all of you suggesting it. Obviously, it took me a while to actually make combos for this solely because I didn't have the aura skin. I bought it back the moment. I bought it when it most recently came back. I thought I just wanted to get it. I had the V-Bucks. Pretty clean looking skin. Obviously, three different edit styles for a skin that's obviously pretty as common i think which is green so also uncommon which is green i know they took the rarities out but it was uncommon before they took it out which is pretty crazy to have obviously two extra cells for a green or uncommon skin but if you ever do have any other video suggestions like see for example skin back brain pickaxe glider slash umbrella contra or weapon wrap or anything other for when i have later always feel free to let me know in the comments down below I'm always down to give something new a go but anyways that's pretty decent